mapakanta, mapasayaw, panlibang, mapakwento, pangpakalma, pangkabuhayan. Nakakaabekto ba ito sa ating kultura? Musika Ang musika ay may iba't ibang pakahulugan sa tao kaya hindi ito maipaliwanag ng lubusan. Ang musika para sa isa ay maaaring walang katuturan sa ibang tao. Bagamat ganito, sinasabing ang musika ay para sa lahat at saan man lupaop ng mundo. Ang mga tao may iba't ibang kultura ay may itinuturing na sariling musika. Well, mas feel ko Tagalog kaya Tagalog. Yeah. Ako ko pare Tagalog ako. Local songs. Ang OPM. Uh, English. Uh, pag kasi Tagalog, parang mas dama mo lahat ng ano, parang feel na feel mo yung kanta kaysa sa English na kapag nakaka-relate ka lang, ka lang. Pero kapag Tagalog, kahit ano pa yan, mafe-feel mo lahat. Kasi, ewan ko, mas nararamdaman ko yung yung emotions. Kasi kung ari, yung mga words ng Tagalog, kasi sometimes hindi na, parang hindi na masyadong nabibigyan na pansin. Tapos pag narinig mo, oh my gosh, ano yung meaning nun? So yun, mas swak yun. English, kasi it's, it's popular right now. Ano yan? Yun trip ko eh. Lalo, lalo, lalo niya yung Filipino folk songs. Kasi dapat maintindihan ng bata ang kanyang culture. Pag naintindihan ng bata yung kanyang culture, syempre yung kanyang pagkamakabayan na labas. Ang OPM kasi as choir director, ang mga tinuturuan ko mga Pilipino, mga uh, Tagalog na salita. So mas na-express nila na kumanta sa Tagalog kesa sa, Eng- sa English or ano mang uh, language na uh, yun. For me ah, as, kasi Filipino ako, so local kasi mas napapakita yung talent ng Pinoy and mas magaling yung paggawa ng music kasi may pinanghuhugutan talaga. Parehas din. Natali ka, yan, rock. Sa Pinoy naman, mga AIDS. Local ako. Pumunta ako, ayawang ko, um, mag- magaganda yung local artists natin eh. Underground, Sam's Cafe, mga ganun. Pumunta ako sa events. Para lang, kasi parang ano ako eh, parang part din ako ng parang outside group para sa sining. Para lang ma-share yung Filipino art. Uh, international artists. Uh, kasi... More variation kasi from hip hop to drum dramatic and melodramatic music. So, classical mo. Bukod sa Filipino ako, kawawa naman ng mga Filipino artists parang dying dying swans na. Ang na, ang nakikilala mang yung mga kusin yung, yung popular. Kailangan pa tayo mag-rally, kailangan pang magalit ang mga iba para makilala, maging national artist ka, masabita ng medalya na pwede mo namang ipagawa. Kawawa naman eh. Um, kasi sa, sa, uh, sa uh, choir director nga ako, no? so no choice ako, mga, mga Pilipino talaga yung mga choir members. So since gusto ko rin naman mga OPM at saka yung mga Tagalog songs, syempre ang gusto ko kumakanta, mga Pilipino rin para... Yun nga, ma-express nila na mabuti yung kinakanta nila at mas magandang lumabas ang tono dahil naiintindihan nila kung ano sinasabi nila. Kesa sa English na abang kinakanta mo, eh, iniisip mo pa kung ano ibig sabihin nun. ba diba? So, I prefer na local artists. Oo. Oh, naman. Of course. Malaki, malaki epekto. How, you know, take, kasi nagkakaroon tayo ng Filipino music by interpreting yung mga uh, international music. Like, tinatransay siya into Filipino. So, same time, kapag nagagawa ng message from an international music, nagagawa siya into Filipino. Kaya minsan, nakak- nagkakaroon ng 
ano din, influence sa culture. So, Siyempre, anything outside a culture will really affect. Pag, lalo na pag nakapenetrate na sa loob yung culture. So yun, may, may effect talaga siya. So yun. Kasi may mga terms na nagagamit rin sa modern culture rin natin. Ano pa ang pwedeng terms? Marami kasi, di ko lang ma-explain lahat right now. Sa sales, sa sales ng mga city. Kasi mas tinatanggil itong foreign mo, ano eh, songs eh, kaysa local eh. Para sa akin ay yes, kasi masyado nang affected ang mga young, young generation natin ng foreign singers, lalo sa Korean, na pati tsura gaya-gaya nila. Actually, they do not understand. They never understand kung ano yung mga kinakanta nila. Tapos kung tayo, kung tayo plus yung generation na yan, ang gagaya ni for, yung mga, mga foreign, foreign singers na yan, pati yung mga ginagamit ng foreign singers na binibili nila. Paano yung ating mga... Uh, na yung ating local commodities, hindi na nila na, na nagagamit. Palagay ko nakaka-epekto dahil pagka yung mga, mga mayroong mga foreign acts na pumunta sa Pilipinas, halimbawa pagka Valentine's Day or kung ano mang concert, um, syempre, merong, lalo na yung mga mayayaman pagka mga foreign acts, parang mas class, mas social, mas pinapanood nila. So, hindi naman mapapanood yung mga yung mga local acts dahil yun, siyempre eh, uh, maganda rin ang, ang advertisement ng mga uh, foreign acts so yun ang pinapanood, yun ang binibili ng ticket so kawawa naman yung mga local artists uh, namawala sila ng trabaho pero sa isang banda naman minsan maganda rin dahil um, uh, maganda rin dahil meron competition. Uh, ang mangyayari, siyempre, gagalingan nila. Magkakaroon, magkakaroon ng improvement yung mga local artists. So, pwede na rin. Maganda na rin. 55% lamang ng populasyon ng ating bansa ang talang marunong at matatas sa Filipino. Diskriminasyon sa sariling wika, Pinagmamalaki ng pangatlo tayo sa mga magagaling magsalita ng Ingles na bansa. Nasyonalismo Kulturang identidad Club mentality Colonial mentality Cause all these guys really faking and take me back home Telling you lies through the phone Baby girl I see the foes I ain't gonna fold Let me show that I'm about to put on You know the tip I ain't the type who controls Just trying to lighten your load I see your light in your soul And I like it with those It gets messy but girl I'm a pro Yeah, and tell me if I'm moving too quick But I'm ready to get it My name is Mika Fabian And I make music Type of money in your pocket Make the pro Um I started mainly for personal reasons. I started when I was around 14, 15. Uh, I was heavily into rap. And back then I just wanted to make rap music. Uh, very mindless, just basically just rhyming. Uh, with no purpose for it. Well, well no reason to do it. Just wanted to rap. And then eventually it developed into what I do now. I'm Anderson Waza. I'm the bassist on Shino 16. And I'm a Filipino teacher in Nathanae. Um, I know what I'm going to music. Um, siguro mga eight years, eight years, eight to nine years, eight to nine years. Pero, uh, eight to nine years, pero hindi siya constant, I guess. Parang, no start pa, for fun lang naman. Okay, um, ako nga pala si Nino, isa pa akong MC o kaya rapper. Siguro mga eight years na ata. I started when I was second year high school, so and now I'm in my sixth year of college. So maganon tama. I grew up speaking in English. In school, I would I would try, but I would usually be responded to in English. Which is weird. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, I think it was a mix of both. Um, at, at home, I would speak in Tagalog, but then in school, I would speak in English from time to time. Pero yung friends ko naman nalagi ng Tagalog, so I think gradually na nasa gradually na nasa naging English no at high school, like some other high school. Well, I was raised in an English-speaking household. But uh, I learned Tagalog growing up with a group of friends that only spoke Filipino. So. English, it's only English. I, I mainly use English to make I think it would be a mix of both. It would, it would be a good mix of both. Um, I would listen to I listened to Tagalog growing up. My Jewish parents for the rockers OPM. You know what I'm saying? But like. Nung tumagal, nung tumagal, lalo na like past like, second year high school, it became more of English music, more English based music, and then lately na nasa nagiging like, Tagalog ulit, like, siguro like the past year, two years now. So, well, growing up, I used to yeah, be rockers of BM, so I'd be like Sponge Cola and stuff like that, or but now, I think it But then, like, uh, Midway High School, Arctic Monkeys, Eminem, um, Jay Z. Uh, yeah. uh, I use English really as a as a language for my music. Um, pero n not to say Tagalog is the inferior language because I'm not just uh, It's just I'm I'm more practiced with my English. English is my thinking language, so I use it to make music. Never. I've never written. <laughs> I've never made music in another language. <laughs> because I'm very horrible at my um, at my Tagalog, and it's re it's really a weakness of mine that I still have to develop. Because I just it wasn't something that I've been able to develop develop in my life, and it's something that I wanted to develop, but I've never. So. Then I go. I died. I died for a while. My time now. When season 16 was very raw and weird, uh, me and Celestina used to try to write. For um, I was I was there when we wrote Walrus, partner. Mostly, like it was um, try long, but then nothing really happened. With it, I guess. We tried, we tried writing. We have we have been trying to write the video, but then I guess. Um, Weird for me because I'm, in my mind, mas madali na mag-express in English. And I guess it's been that way because, in like, for example, musician influences and band influences, they always wrote in English and they always wrote well. Taos parang yung influences naman dito in the Philippines, parang when they try to write, parang walang substantial na lumalabas. So in the end, parang it's parang na precondition na kami na mahirap magsulat na Filipino na meaningful and would matter to like the greater public, I guess, or something like that. Of course, I've I've tried experimenting uh, using Tagalog at naka nagawa na din ako ng kanta sa wikang Espanyol. Yes, Ferry would know this. I asked his advice for for it. But yeah, ayun. So yeah, in English, Filipino. Uh, and Spanish, those are the languages I've made songs in. Uh, sa totoo lang, uh, bilang hip-hop artist, mas compatible ang language natin, Filipino that is, with making hip-hop music. And that's because the syntax is so much easier to digest in Filipino. Um, lyrics are easier to understand and easier to flow with in the Filipino language because they come in consonant Vowel, consonant vowel. So, ma, ka, ta, ga, ni, to, nga, pa, la, mag, rap, sa, ta, ga, lo. So, it's really e easier to flow. You can double time with it and everything. But the reason why I don't use it as a language is because, uh, well, when I make music, is because I personally, hindi, hindi ako masyadong magaling sa Tagalog. I'm not that good at it. And I'm not gonna lie and say that I am. And because of that, I use English as a language because I know I'm skilled at the language because I know that I know how to use English uh, well, in, in a rapper perspective, as a weapon for me to get my message out there. Yeah, I'm a Filipino and I live in this country. Uh, I should be able to speak it, but for some reason I don't and it's, it's, it's very embarrassing. 
language to me is being able to communicate yourself honestly. Well, maybe not even honestly, but to being able to communicate a message that you want to convey. Yeah, it is. In its own way, it is a language because... Can I expand on that? Yeah, of course. Okay, yeah, because... An example would be, you know, when I, when I dig and look for different types of raps. I don't stick solely to English. I, I find beauty in not being able to understand what is being said and just focusing on the other aspects you wouldn't be able to focus on if you were solely listening to, to what is being said, the context itself. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've, I've recently gotten into this artist whose name is Quest. He, uh, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, he's interesting to me. Delivers a message that I, I am for. Maybe sonically we're not on the same page, but right now I'm really trying to develop the messages that are being conveyed. And if if not rap, then yeah, I, I do listen to Filipino music. I try to at least. Oh, for me, kung papigusap nato wika, kung gaano ka dami alam mo na salita, kung gaano ka kung gaano ka lawak yung wika, kung gaano ka lawak yung mundo mo. Lalo na sa isang Niguay. For example, sa Filipino, kung gano'n nakaraming Filipino sa salita yung alam mo, gano'n kalawak yung mundo mo sa Filipino. And habang nababawasan yung mga salita ngayon, lumilit ang lumilit yung mundo mo. And lumilit ang lumilit yung paraan ng pagpapahayag mo. Lalo na sa Filipino. Tapos, I guess, gano'n siya, lalo na um, in music, in, in writing, parang yun yung naging case naman before na hindi kami makagawa ng kanta sa Filipino. Kasi I guess yung mundo namin sa Filipino sa pag-express ng emotions, pag-express ng, ng experiences, hindi namin siya magawa sa Filipino kasi yung artists na una sa amin, hindi yun nila magawa or hindi nila ginagawa. So, influences na parang pass down, wala rin, hindi siya nangyayari. So, hindi, parang, dahil hindi siya nangyayari, hindi, 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 hindi namin siya magawa. So, I guess, like, Language for me is very important in the sense that it defines your world and it defines how you explain whatever you're experiencing. And you know, yes, because most music you don't need. Ma ang, ang daming kanta na hindi mo akin na lyrics, eh, tas gets mo na. Like if I would to name drop like sila King, like Crown, and stuff like that, sila BP. They would create tracks na you don't really need to know what they're saying, or you don't need, they don't really need lyrics, but you get what they're trying, to, you get the message they're trying to convey. So, kaya, kaya. It's not, it's not a barrier. It's not a obstacle to express, uh, to expressing anything. Oh, I about we got better song. Um, I think essentially language is, uh, no, um a tool of communication. It's, it exists to um, make ideas easier for people to digest and uh, well, well, to send and receive through different you know, channels and mediums. Um, to say uh, something a little bit more complicated to do, like for example, can you get the pakuha ng plato at pinggan, uh, sorry, pakuha ng pinggan sa kusina or something like that. Um, now, if I try to do that, <laughs> With using my action, saying mm, 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 mm. like you know, that's complicated. You could just say go on and plato sa cocina, you know. Um, the second part of the question was: Is music a language? Yes, I believe it. It's a language. I correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a big um, there's a big following of K-pop here in the Philippines, and I am going to assume that majority of these people don't know how to speak Korean. I'm just gonna assume it. Uh, I don't think that's a false statement. Pero, you know, it, it, it speaks volumes um, na music is, is taken as another language, as something that, you know, people can really talk about. And it, 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 it's, it's really a different sort of um, experience. And, um, I don't know, I guess... Yung point ko lang, bakit sumigat ang Oh baby, 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 my baby, baby That's pretty racist, I'm sorry But yeah, I mean, I think that proves the point that Music is a language as well
fucking clock, don't need the flesh, and I'm asking, could you be mine? Now I'm just yapping, the schoolboy crush who doesn't have me. Yeah, I'm gonna be. Yeah, well, I mean, when you do understand the lyrics of music, I feel, for example, as me who makes music, I have a responsibility as to what I say. It always has to deliver an honest message that I want to impart on people that maybe I wouldn't be able to in a, reg in a, regular, in a regular conversation. So, yeah, I mean, that's how I see music, for myself at least. And just trying to encapsulate emotion in its rawest form. Um, well, sana people try to write more, and, and lalo na in Filipino. It's, for me, Filipino is a dying language. It is a, it's, it is literally a dying language. Lalo na when it comes to, like, today's youth or whatever. Like, Filipino is a foreign language. Lalo na for kids, like, they cannot say anything in Filipino anymore. Lalo na alam. And, Hindi rin, di na rin nila alam paano express paano mag, kahit simple conversations lang, di na nila kaya. So, sana, sana, like, I, I started listening to Filipino music again the, the past couple of years because people actually tried. Like, Rico Blanco, Abdramadam, the likes, they actually tried to write in Filipino. And he, they tried to write well in Filipino. Pero sila lang. It's a, it's a dying breed, it's a dying... Um, it's a dying entity. It's a dying language. Nakalimutan na ba natin ang sariling identidad? Tuluyan mo na bang itatakwil ang inang bayan? Gaya dito. Gaya dyan. Parang copy-paste lang. Huwag kang tatawa-tawa dahil parang pinagtatawanan mo na rin ang iyong sarili. Handa mo na bang hubarin ang iyong maskara? Pilipino ka nga ba o nagbabalat kayong Pilipino? Check out my album, Third Culture Kid, uh, December 1st or 2nd week, hindi pa sure po. But go check it out, Third Culture Kid. Um, it's released under MCA Records. You can check it out, Spotify, uh, Apple Music, iTunes. And I don't know if we're doing physical copies, hindi pa sure, pero hopefully you guys check that out. If you like hip-hop and if you like... Um, real hard stuff and really messages that need to be heard like um, I, I, I spit about what I think about society and what I think about organized religion and all that stuff so I think you know if you're into that stuff please go check it out also like my Facebook page <laughs> facebook.com slash Nina Music soundcloud.com slash Nina Music and big ups to um, to Don Ferias we call him the Spanish Lord yeah okay I think that's enough now thank you Alex <laughs> <laughs>